Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So um, today we're going to be making some Happy Mail. Now this was a video that I was, <coughs> excuse me, was going to try to put out yesterday and um, I was not feeling the best in the world and um, I had to get for the stupid virus because I was running a little fever and I had all these cold symptoms and stuff. As it turns out, I just have a really bad sinus infection. So praise the Lord for that. <laughs> I'll take a sinus infection over this virus any day. So excuse me, I still have to have my coffee. Now, if you're wondering why this says streaming on the video when it goes live as a video, it is I'm running out of memory on my camera for some reason. Uh, on my phone and I know I spoke a little bit about this on Monday um, so I'm having to un do unlisted on my uh, live videos and just to make sure that I can get um, the videos done now um, I have been wanting to send but you guys know y'all know my situation most of you do and if you don't well the situation is I can't spend a lot of money on shipping and so I've been wanting to send happy mail and, um, you know, it's, this is not really something new as far as it being a trifold or whatever, but I came up with an idea to send happy mail. You can definitely send in envelope like this, like the long legal envelope. And this is what I came up with. This is made using a, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, just one sheet of paper and some embellishments. This is like a little uh, paper clip that I made with a little butterfly and it's hanging off the thing and it's made with this, this set of paper here, which is this right here. I got this from Ollie's a long time ago for a dollar nine. It's called Fiesta. It's a really pretty paper pad. And so I'm trying to use up some of my stuff and that's what it is and so all it is i left it pretty flat on the front i just put a couple of flowers here i stamped happy mail and special delivery then when you open it up i have like a little place a little pocket here that you can do like you know little ephemeral things i just put in here this is not exactly what i'm sending off then on this side i made a belly band and then uh, a little envelope that says airmail and you can write a little note or whatever in here that you want and I didn't put a little note in here yet, but you can put one in there. And obviously it can be bigger. Then you open it up like this. And I have another pocket down here. And this pocket is really, you can put something in here. And then I put like a little envelope on here. And you can put like little, you know, small things in a little envelope. I mean, not an envelope, but a, a little paper bag. And I've got these from Hobby Lobby oh wow a long time ago and then on this side I just created another little pocket you can put ephemera or little goodies and um, on the back side I put another little um, oh yeah that's what I was going to show you too I don't know what happened to this one but I made it like a little tuck spot right there for like a tag but um, on this one you can see it I have another little uh, little paper bag I made a little tuck spot on the bottom of it and you know you can put things in this little bag so I'm going to show you how I did it and um, then it closes up and you put this cute little paper clip back on it holds it together and it definitely fits in here now I did another one in a different manner but um, that one you'll have to wait on the 25th to see because it is with my uh, collaboration that I do on the 25th of the month with Deb out Scrappy College with Smash That Small Paper Pad. And um, I did that one for that. So I'm going to start with a 12 by 12. And the first thing we're going to do is just cut off the little, the little um, strip here. You know, this is so easy. I really don't need a tutorial, but I just thought I would show you anyway. <laughs> now, I saved this because I actually use this for a couple of things. Now, depending on which way you want your paper to go, I want this to be on my inside. This page right here has to be 11 inches. So, we are going to cut it down to 11 inches. 
and then save these parts too because you can also use those for like little things it's an inch so we're going to cut it down to 11 inches okay then that's all the cutting we're going to do for right now we're going to take this and we're going to divide it up into thirds so, it, so that it will fit in this envelope right here. You want it to fit into the envelope. So I'm going to take my scoreboard and I'm going to score this. Let's see if I find my little scoring tool. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we're going to score this at three and three quarters all the way down. And then we're going to score it at, let's see, six and, no, one side's going to be bigger than the other side, so we're going to score this at six and five-eighths, which is one-eighth past six and a half. Okay. Then we're going to turn the paper to the side. And we're going to score this at eight inches. Oops. Okay. So then you're going to fold it down on your crease lines. Use your bone folder to get some good sharp lines. Now, I will have to trim a little of this off because it doesn't exactly work. Um, yeah. Okay. So then you're going to open that back up. And I'm sorry, I folded, I refolded this and it's seven. It's at seven and um, one sixteenth. So I refolded it because I figured it was a little bit too big. Now you can leave it like this. This is what, you, what I did on the very first one that I made. So it just has a little lift like that. And I think I will because that way I can get a bigger pocket like this and have it still fit in the envelope. So then we're going to open this back up and we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut down these score lines right here on the bottom and we're going to make sure that we cut out the the score line so you're just going to cut all the way up and then you're going to cut maybe just a sliver where the other where the other side of the score line is you're going to cut all the way up to the line and take that little sliver out and that just creates a little separation for your pocket. And you're going to want that on there. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to cut up to this lower line. So I'm cutting what they call in the ditch. Because that leaves me a little bit of room to cut the rest of the score line off. Now I'll see which side my score line is left on, which is this side. So I'm just going to go up. And I'm just going to take the rest of that score line off. And create that little ditch there just a little gap so that the pockets will be separated okay just like that so you see you have some separation and then these get fold up and this is what forms your pocket I'm going to trim just a little bit more off of this one because I did not do such a great job cutting that off In my defense, I'm still running a fever, so I'm not feeling the great. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move my scoreboard out of the way because we're through with that. And then basically, this is your little folder right here. And you would decorate the front side and then put 
decorations in the middle and that. Now let's glue down our pockets. And I am just going to use a little bit of my tacky glue. And we're just going to go just a little bit on the edge over here. We don't want to go, we don't want a lot of glue on it. We just want a little bit. Well, I may use my tacky glue, I may not. And I'm just putting a little bit on the edge here. So that our pocket is big enough to hold something. So when you cut that ditch out, you don't want it to be right on the score line. That way you can fold your folder over and it'll be even. So I'm going to do a little bit on this edge. Now, I am going to try to go live tonight at 7.15, so I hope that you will join me. Um, maybe the first time I've gone live in quite a while. Um, and if this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll stick around by going ahead and clicking that subscribe button. And make sure you tap the bell and you YouTube should notify you each and every time I upload a new video, depending on the option you choose in the drop down bell. So that's that. Now, then it's just a matter of decorating and putting little things on there and, and everything like that. I am going to be sending this to somebody, so I am not going to necessarily do everything, but I am going to show you what I did on the front cover. So I'm using my Distress Ink, which is called Pine Needle, and it matches this really perfectly. Uh-oh. I hope... I know I just went sideways on here, and I apologize for that. I don't know why it's doing that. So I hope you still can see it. So I'm just going to put airmail down here. And then wipe that off. There we go. I think we're back again. I'm not sure. And then I'm, I'm using this. Um, I'm using this stamp set. It's by May May. And it's called um, Happy Mail. Uh, it's in the mail. And it has these cute little stamps on here. And then I'm using the one that says Happy Mail. And that is going to go on the top. Okay, that just it just matches so perfect this ink does with this paper set. And then I'm just going to put a few little flowers on here. I'm using these flowers by Prima. It's called Wildflower. And um, I'm watching the camera. I am so sorry if I'm flipping y'all around and stuff. It's just, I don't know what's going on, but I can't stop it. Otherwise, I won't be able to join my videos together. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put like a little leaf on the bottom of this. And then I'm just going to stick the flower down right here. By the little happy mail. And I read, you, I could put a rose on here, but that's too, too thick. You want something that's going to be just a little flat. You know, you don't want to put something on there that's going to be real puffy and stuff. Because you'll overstuff your envelope. But these are perfect to send like little um, bits and bobs of laces or, you know, some trim or, um, you know, anything small stuff. It just if you want to send some happy mail. And I like sending happy mail. And you can make little cards that go in like little three by four cards or little, you know, little cards like that. So I'm going to stick one by here. Now, on the um, 
inside of it, I am going to use the pick clip. Let me find my other pick clip I have for it. Well, I may have used the pick clip. Houston, we've got a problem. <laughs> I may have to make another little paper clip to go on it because I think I might have used that last paper clip I had. So I'm just going to stick a decorative paper clip in the middle. So let's get one out and we'll just go ahead and do that too. I said we'll get a green one out to match. And let's get a little sliver of paper. This is not wide enough. You'll get two things from me today. <laughs> we'll get, you'll get a paper clip and um, let's see. If I can use one of these like little cut parts here. This is also from the same paper line. It'd be cute to use that because um, it kind of matches blended in with the thing on the inside. So let's cut this off right here. Let's line this up. And then we'll just cut this off. We might have to trim it down just a wee bit. I'm trying to think if I want the yellow or the this one. I think the yellow one would be good. And like I said, we're probably going to have to trim this down just a wee bit. Let's see how much more we got to trim this down. Oh, more than a wee bit. So let's take a little bit more of it off. I usually do about two inches. Okay, I think that's maybe just a tiny bit more. Get my little tiny one out here. My big one will cut this thin paper, but it will not cut thicker paper because it's just, yeah, it's time to get more blades. Okay, that's still a little bit too tiny. Sorry guys, I, I had I thought I had a paper clip all ready for us here. And apparently I did not. Because I must have used it. Okay, so we're gonna slide this in here on the bottom. Like so. I want this go in. I know it's not too wide. There we go. Okay, and then I always fold it up to meet the bottom so that it's even. Pull up on it. Okay. And then I think I will stamp something on here. What are we going to stamp? Um, let's do special delivery on here. One thing I like about this thing is that I can do longer videos. One thing I don't like about this thing is that it seems like every time somebody texts me or something, um, it comes off, and I don't like that. It flips and flops around, so we got to figure out what's going on with that. Okay. So we stamped our special delivery on there. All right, what in the heck? I apologize, y'all, for this. I just was not expecting that. Okay, so now I'm just going to put some glue on here and glue this shut. And I'm going to put some glue on the paper clip. That will hold it just a wee bit tighter. Pull, you know, pull the paper clip all the way up to get the line. 
and then we can glue this together and then let's put something on to embellish it let's see if we can find some little gemstones that might look pretty with this how about one of these we could do this we'll do that and i might go back later and put a dangly on it but for now i'm not because i don't want to make this video too long i know you guys are probably getting sick for flip flopping and i apologize for that i really do i don't know what's causing it i don't have any air or anything on so i really don't know what's going on with it all right there we go now So that goes. And then we'll just put that on the front about halfway up so we can not hide our flowers. And so we just have a little, they have a little paper clip that they can do something with. And then that's our little folder right there. Now, like I said, I'm not going to take time to decorate on the inside because I don't want the person to see who's getting it to see it before it gets done. So that, my friends, is a new way I'm doing happy mail besides the pocket letter. Because, you know, pocket letters don't always fit in there. There's the one that I made the other day. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I apologize again for the quality of this video. I have no idea what the heck is going on with it. But um, apparently, it's not doing well <laughs> all right thank you so much for joining me and i will see you all tonight at 7 15 please come back and join me at 7 15 and we'll get together i know it won't let me shut you off <laughs> end video well, now y'all gonna get to look at my little face. I don't know why this is not working. Oh, it does it say rotate device is not doing anything. Hmm. Sorry guys, this is not letting me do anything. It's not letting me cut it off or anything. It keeps telling me to rotate device. There we go. Bye guys, sorry.